Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to convert curtain bangs into a side fringe. I don't know how many people are over the sort of curtain bangs, face frame, uh, fringe, but in salon we'll be getting a lot of people come in and ask, can I have something a bit different? I'm a bit done with these. So I'm going to show you how to convert it into a side fringe really, really easy. So where we want to start, we want to be finding all of that face frame that we've got there and then just clipping out the sides with no mark clips because if this was going to be a fringe that you were going to be putting in after a haircut or even somebody popping into the salon saying look I want something a bit different never been to you before but I want to, to change my fringe you don't want to be putting in hard clips because what they'll do is they'll just make indentations in the hair and then the only way to get them out is spray it down shampoo and re-blow dry so we've got our curtain bang client here and she's thinking about having a side fringe but you can see it's all a little bit all over the place so what we want to do we're going to find for that side part our sectioning so we're just going to bring that over to this side and then just clip that out of the way and then tuck that back in there with the rest of the clipped up hair so we've actually got a side part now and that falls great with where that fringe is going to be so how are we going to do this what we want to do we want to find that shortest piece which is there and what we're going to do is we're just going to over direct this normally the shortest piece is in the middle so we're going to find that middle piece and we're going to over direct to here and we're just going to take it off into that shortest piece and then just watching where that goes so that will still sit nice and long if the client wants a nice longer side fringe but then we've got to to deal with this here this is that side of the of the the bangs the fringe over this side how do we blend that in so what we just did we took that over to there i'm going to bring all of this to that side now i'm going to use that as our guide so I'm going to pull it all the way over here and I can see my guide in there and the reason I'm point cutting is because we still want the softness there but look I'm taking off all of this length here now and now we're going to look for the heavy spots which are there and a little bit there so we're going to do that make a fist you can see there's the heaviest point there so we're just going to put our scissors in vertically not to take off any length but to remove weight and we're just going to do that all the way through here until it's loosened up enough we don't need to do any there you see it's already loose enough but let's bring it down and let's have a little look now you can see that point there connects to there so we've got a side fringe in so this mannequin just needs blow drying over to there so it will sit so i'll do that now and join me back in a second so what i've done is i've, I've blow dried it just wrap dried it over to here and i put a little clip in there for when the hair cools down because this is something that you're going to come up against with your clients or even if you were to try and put a fringe in yourself you'll find that because you've had probably had been wearing your hair that way so long it wants to go back so while the hair is still hot pop a clip in and let it cool down over the side which way you want to go so when that hair cools completely because it's still warm what you'll find is that it won't really want to go back there because it's set in that place so when you think of when you're curling people's hair or you're drying it if you blow dry your hair on heat all the way up let it cool down and try to get it comb it back down dry it wouldn't move because it's, it's sort of dried and, and cooled up there so this is exactly the same thing but you can see we'll just pop that in there still a little bit warm so then what i'm going to do is leave it just to cool down that a little bit more you could get your cold shot button on your hair dryer and do that but there we go so let's just get a facing you and that is how we put a side fringe 
when converting from face frame or bangs to, to have something like that. And I think side fringe is going to be big for 2024. I think a lot of people have got over or they are over the, the, the bangs as such. They want something a little bit different. Blunt fringes, we're doing loads of them at the minute as well. So check, check my, one of my next videos. I'll do that for you. How to take a side fringe to a blunt fringe. I hope you're enjoying these little sort of tip videos on how to sort of like level up your, your hairdressing game. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.